All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Gym Live Blog. Today's conversation is going to be about building your self confidence, and we're going to be targeting today's workout around chest, okay? So, I'm going to give you guys a bunch of different chest workouts to not only stretch your chest, make your chest broader, but also to make your chest thicker, okay? So, we're going to go through two sets of each workout just to give you guys a variety of options and different workouts to go through. Okay, now the reason why I decided to make today's workout about chest is because I went to a pool event yesterday and I just see all these guys with bitch tits and man boobs. And you know, to each his own, you know, if you're happy with that life, then good for you. But what really triggered me to make this video is the amount of guys that come up to me and ask me if I'm on steroids, ask me how long I've been lifting, um, what do I gotta do to look like that? And the amount of guys who just gave off the insecure energy. Like I walked past this one guy and his wife and I mean, you could just feel the tension of how uncomfortable he was as I was walking past him and his wife. It just shows that he's not confident. It shows that he knows that he needs to be doing more. And it shows that he's not secure with where he is with his relationship because it got really weird. Like, it's cool to have money. Like, it's cool that you have the Ferrari, the big house, the businesses, all this other stuff. And it goes to show that a lot of people seek validation using a lot of external factors. When in reality, we should be seeking validation from ourselves. And that shows when we deliver our stuff to the world. So we're gonna go through a variety of different workouts. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with upper chest, okay? So the reason we're gonna do upper chest is because upper chest is gonna stretch your chest, make your chest broader, make your shoulders sit out so that your shoulders aren't slumped and you don't look so rounded. We're gonna start off with some incline. We're gonna go two sets of 20 reps. You don't have to do the exact amount of reps and stuff that I'm doing right now. I'm just giving you guys a plethora of different workouts to do to obtain the chest that you want. So if you have this chest and you have man boobs, then you're gonna wanna check out this workout so you can broaden your chest, so you can walk with your chest out, so you can feel like the fucking man you are. So if you're dealing with rounded shoulders and your shoulders just kinda cave in, gives you that hunched back look, then you're gonna wanna do more inclines, okay? Incline's gonna stretch your upper chest. Now, here we're gonna go for about 15 reps here. When it comes to the placement of your hands, you wanna put your hands near that first ring, the ring that's closest to you, okay? You don't wanna go too far out because the wider you go out with incline, the more tension, the more pressure that puts on your shoulders, which could inevitably cause shoulder issues in the future. So you really wanna find your sweet spot. You'll know you hit that sweet spot whenever you're going down and you can feel your chest just pulling. <clears throat> All right guys, so right here, we're gonna go down really slow, almost like a negative, and then we're gonna shoot it up. Stretch. Up. Stretch, up, stretch, up. The gains are gonna be made on that stretch. It's not so much about contracting at the top. Remember, incline is about stretching. It's not about contracting, okay? It's not about getting a thicker, fuller chest. Incline is about getting a wider chest. That way, whenever you walk into a room, you don't look like a little fucking bitch with rounded shoulders. Instead, you have a broad stance. See, incline is for confident men who wanna walk in a room with his head high, his chest up, and walk around confident and proud of the person he is. See, our body is just a reflection of our discipline and our habits. You have poor discipline, you have poor habits, well then you're gonna look like shit and you're gonna have bitch tits. Yeah, sure, a lot of you guys are gonna say you're confident with how you look, you're comfortable with your life, but you're really not. And, and there's plenty of signs to show that you're unhappy and you're insecure when it comes to your body. Like if you see people who look good and the first thing you jump to is, oh, they're on steroids. Oh, they have all day to lift, I don't have time to lift. Or you see them and you're with your wife and things get weird as soon as they walk by. Well, it's because it just shows that you guys aren't secure with your relationship. She's not happy with your body. You're not happy with your body and something needs to change. <laughs> like the signs are there. It's your choice if you want to be nonchalant to the issue at hand or if you actually want to take action, uh, fix yourself and become that multi-dimensional man. Like there was a time that I was like that, you know, where I was very insecure. I was in a five-year relationship and for the first three years of that relationship, I was very unhappy with the person that I, that I was. I wasn't confident. Um, I was very insecure, very controlling, just a toxic person. And, you know, I was blaming everything else except 
me, like I was the problem, you know? In order for things to change, you have to change. And I had to learn to see the value of myself. I had to learn to I had to learn to invest in myself. I had to learn to validate myself, you know what I mean? It's not about money, it's not about cars, it's not about jewelry, none, none of that's important. What's important is the person that we become. Like the more you put in, the more you get out, you know? The more you invest in yourself, the more the world will bless you and will, will feed you. You know, if you don't put nothing in, you don't get nothing out. We got the second set right here. We're really going to focus on controlling the decline and then obviously accelerating up, okay? Really trying to stretch that chest as much as possible. Remember, incline is not so much about contracting, it's about stretching. The goal with incline is to make your chest wider. <laughs> One of my second favorite upper chest workout machines is going to be this one right here. It's like a dragon flight machine. Um, if you don't have this machine, what I recommend using is dumbbells, okay? You can do chest flies with dumbbells as well. So remember this, guys. When it comes to upper chest, the main goal is to stretch, okay? It's not about contracting so much. We want to look good when we wear suits, when we wear polos. We want to have a broad stance. And then when it comes to this machine, I don't re recommend going really heavy. Again, it doesn't take that much to stretch the upper chest, okay? And if you get to the point to where you get really strong with the upper chest, you can also do negatives. So negatives is gonna be that time under tension, okay? That's also going to increase, you know, muscle growth. <sighs> all right, so right here, we wanna make sure our chest is high. All the way up, stretch. All the way up, stretch. All the way up, slow stretches. 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 Now, if you don't have this machine at home, what I recommend doing is using dumbbells, okay? I never go heavier than 25 pounds on the dumbbells, and I think that I'm a pretty strong guy, so it just goes to show that, obviously, the time under the tension, the negatives, and the speed of the movement is gonna be crucial to you maximizing um, the actual workout. We're gonna hold it up, stretch. <sighs> hold it up, stretch. Oops. Stretch. 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 <sighs> now, that's just the basics. But just to sum it up, you want a weight that you control. Like I always tell you guys, the heavier weight, the less control you have of it, or the stronger you are, the more control you have of it. So, you know, you just gotta find your, your happy medium. Now, another thing that's gonna boost your self-confidence is self-validation, okay? Now, are you validating yourself on a daily basis? Are you proud of the person you are? Do you love? the person that you become. Like when you get to the point where you're self-confident, you validate yourself, you love yourself, you're proud of yourself, like the possibilities are limitless. Like you go into a room, you look good, you feel good, financially you're good, like you're that multi-dimensional man, like no one can tell you anything. And I don't say that to say, hey, be a, I don't say that to say be a cocky asshole, but it's just like, hey, you know who you are, you know what you've been through, um, you know where you're going, and you know the work that you're putting in behind closed doors. And that's what's going to make you that multidimensional man that your family is going to need someday, your business is going to need someday. People who come across you are going to admire you because of the work and the time that you put in. Alright guys, so here goes the second set. Again, we're going to... Alright guys, here goes the second set. We increase the weight by 50 pounds. Again, we're focusing on the stretch, not so much about the contraction, okay? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15. All right, guys, so another workout that I do recommend in order to build a broader, wider chest 
is going to be these high chest flies okay you can go medium chest flies you can go low chest flies i like the high chest flies when it comes to high chest flies i do not recommend lifting 100 pounds like i, I it, it's it's pointless like at some point your joints are just going to start falling off i keep it around the 20 to 30 range uh, maybe i'll go up to 40 if i'm feeling you know ultra mighty but for the most part um, i keep it around 20 25 pounds one two now remember when it comes to this machine right here you can focus on contracting and you can also focus on stretching at the same time but we're working upper chest at this moment so we're going to spend more time focusing on stretching one, two. And you want to have absolute control. Again, like I always tell y'all, bro, the heavier the weight, the less control you have of it, or the stronger you are, the more control you have of it. Well, I decided to bring you guys closer for the second set so you can see the way that my upper chest stretches and the way that it separates from my shoulder. Remember, we're not focused so much on the contraction here. We're focusing on the stretch because that's what we're working for. And right here, it's controlled. Five. I'm not allowing the weight to pull me around. I control the weight. If the weight's ever pulling you and jerking you around, it means you need to change the weight, all right? It means you're not lifting properly. Or, it just means you need to gain some weight. <laughs> We're all done with upper chest for now. Um, we're actually gonna start contracting, okay? Start working on building some fullness, some thickness. Uh, just a solid, dense chest. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go de decline right here, okay? Decline, you can focus on the stretch if you want. Um, again, it's all up to you. But right now, we're focusing on building thickness, building depth, okay? So we're gonna really focus on the squeeze all the way at the top. All right, now another thing that I really want to talk about that I really hate and I find it really disgusting, it just goes to show that there's a lot of men who aren't happy with where they are in life. Like sometimes I get on Instagram or I get on TikTok and I see these bodybuilders living their life, you know, posting their content, their inspiration, whatever. And here come the insecure keyboard warriors in the comments sending syringes and steroids and this, that, and a third. It's a sign of, of, of weakness, you know? At the end of the day, people do whatever it is they want to do. That's their choice, that's their life. But you ridiculing them for doing something that they have passion for is a sign of weakness and just shows that you're insecure. And these same people who spend their time and their life downplaying people's gains and their success, these are the same people who are just miserable and unhappy in life and they're just reflecting. All right guys, so for this first set, I'm just gonna show you guys from a distance and then the second set, I'll bring it close so you can actually see the way that my chest contracts all the way at the top. Remember, we're not going super heavy. There's no ego involved because ego is the enemy and ego will get you hurt or killed. Now we're going 12 reps here. We wanna focus on contracting. So therefore our hands will be closer. Okay, now if we were focusing on stretching and getting a wider chest at this point in the workout, then we would be farther out, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You spend your time self-sabotaging and you'll never be confident. You'll never have a high self-esteem. You'll never feel like you're worth anything. You'll always be insecure, okay? So you really have to learn to practice positive self-talk. Like, how do you look at yourself? How do you speak to yourself? But this view here, I really wanted to show you guys the contraction of the chest as I squeeze all the way at the top. Remember, it's not about the stretch because we're not working the stretch. It's about squeezing and contracting because we're focusing on density. Squeeze. 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 
Another exercise that I recommend implementing in your workouts is going to be pause reps on bench press, okay? We're gonna go five reps here, really focusing on squeezing, contracting at the top, filling that chest with as much blood as possible. So remember, we're not focusing on the stretch here, we're focusing on the contraction, okay? So we wanna go a little closer here. One. Two. Three. Four, five. And because bench press is my favorite workout, I love to do a burnout at the end. I'm gonna go for about 10 reps here. One thing I want you guys to work on is not chasing, okay? Stop chasing a trap. If you spend your time chasing butterflies, the butterflies are gonna fly away. But if you invest that time into creating a garden, the butterflies are gonna fly to you. Now, when you focus on improving yourself, everything you want is gonna find you. you know? We attract based on who we are, not what we want. So stop chasing and start attracting. And that butterfly could be a number of things. It could be women, it could be cars, it could be clothes, it could be jewelry, any of that. But all of that is inevitable when you become the best version of you possible. So I know those weren't the cleanest reps, but <laughs> I love moving the ways. All right guys, so if you're tired of having man boobs and bitch tits, please listen to me, okay? Just do the workouts consistently and you'll start to see your chest form into what it is you want it to look like. So what we're gonna do right here is a workout that I like to call chest curls. Now, I'm not sure if that's the appropriate name for them, but that's what I do. We're gonna go four sets of 20 reps right here. You wanna go around 10 to 20 pounds, depending on how strong you are. You should not feel this exercise in your arms, okay? Now, if you feel it in your arms, that means you just need to lower the weight. So what we're gonna do right here, we're gonna start in this position right here, and we're going to squeeze. Squeeze, all right? We're activating our chest here. Squeeze, you should see the striations on my chest activate. Squeeze. 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 Now I wouldn't recommend doing this at the beginning of a workout. I would recommend doing it towards the end. You wanna do it when the chest is already activated. This can be used as a finisher. All right, so remember guys, the more you do of what you're doing, the more you get of what you got. So if you're unhappy with the body you have, if it makes you feel shameful, you feel doubtful about your body, then you need to change something and that all starts with you. Okay, so if nothing changes, nothing changes. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you wanna see more of, any questions, concerns, anything at all. In my bio, you'll see more about me. You'll see my Instagram, um, and also some products that I do have for you guys. Until the next time.